Hello, I'm Cat Love Man, and for today's build, we're going to be taking a trip to the Nether. And not just anywhere in the Nether, we're going down to the depths of Ancient Three to look for Netherite specifically. And now, I want you to picture this. You've come back just from a mining trip with from mining ancient debris, either by TNT, strip mining, or the dreaded bed mining, don't do it. But, and you come back, and this is what you do. You put down your blast furnace, you stick your ancient debris, and your fuel type of choice, and you just cook it right there in the mine. Or, you bring it to the overworld and cook it in your regular old furnace in your house. Let me tell you, this is not very exciting. For the best ore in the game, better than diamonds, and this is what you do it, this is the respect you give to it, you just give it, maybe you give it a blast furnace, maybe, maybe you're a little cheap and you used a regular furnace. This is not what ancient netherite deserves. Now what we need is a nether smeltery. Now we all know that Minecraft has some inconsistencies. For example, a turtle egg, one of the most fragile items in the game, can't be broken by an anvil falling on it, but Steve, or the player himself, can break it just like that might be just a little bit too much cake though. But one of the biggest inconsistencies to me is that ancient debris is lava and fireproof. And yet you can you in order to use it at all, you cook it in a furnace. Does this make any sense? Now the design for our nether smeltery is basically going to revolve around this. Is make it so ancient debris ain't so lava proof. And here's what I mean. We're basically going to be throwing ancient debris in lava but then, there's a hopper going that's going to be underneath of it that pick it up, smelts it, and then safely dispenses it into a chest. But we need a build around it to make it convincing. So, we're going to use polished basalt for the corners, so soil for the ceiling, blackstone brick trim on the bottom. That's a weird contrast. Polished deep slate for the, gra for the floor. A respawn anchor, just in case. A portal so we can get in and out. And we'll add some branching pathways, that way we can actually mine the ancient debris. Hallways, that's what I meant to say. And for storage, we'll just leave some barrels around, maybe a fancy pattern on the ceiling? That's a lot better. And now, we've pretty much decorated up the place. I mean, of course, it is still a nether mine, so... I mean, it kind of does look nice, just being a little simplistic, but now we need that smeltery. Which I just realized... We might not have enough room for. All right, so we're gonna use this wall for the nether smeltery. Now we're gonna kind of keep the dropper pretty far down, which I'll show you the redstone in a second, but the reason we're keeping it far down is because... is really annoying. It finally works. Okay, now let me show you how it works. So basically, this is the input. I probably should put a sign, but here's the input and here is the output for the ancient debris. Now, it basically, the input has a big hopper line going all the way down, just because, I know this is kind of wasteful, you could just have louder droppers, but I just didn't want as loud of a dropper, so basically it goes down into, wait a minute, oh yeah, first, you can't see it right here, but this is a blast furnace, and then basically once it goes into the output slot of a blast furnace, so once it turns into the other ice scrap, then it will go all the way down into here, into this dropper. And this dropper is set to where we can throw in some items that are actually flammable, just for testing purposes. Basically, there's a comparator output, so when it senses something is inside the dropper, it will power this piston, activating a observer redstone clock, and then turning, powering the dropper. And so if we throw in one stone, it dispenses it. If we throw in a whole bunch of stone, it does all of it until it's completely empty. And so, and then, it makes it its way all the way up. There is a lava column, and it comes all the way up, and anything that you throw in here that's not netherite or fireproof will actually get burned in the lava, but if we throw in some ancient debris, there is no way to refuel the uh, furnace, though. I mean, I did put 64 blaze rods. That should be enough, but it should take a second. You can hear the blast furnace. It's activating the piston, activating the dropper, and we get netherite scrap floating from the surface. So it's a much more, it's a way cooler way of cooking your ancient debris. You're actually throwing it in lava to cook it, not actually, um, not by just throwing it in a furnace, which we're getting our final ancient netherite scrap. Yep. Man, that is amazing. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I inspired you guys to a little, 
like spruce up your nether tunnels for uh re mining and maybe try on make try making one of these nether smelteries yourself but anyway thank you so much for watching my name is califan and i'll see you in the next one